the main threat in Lashkagar was mortar. Approximately half past seven in the morning, I was in the shower and the mortar alarms went off. As I ran into the tent as fast as I could, knowing I needed to get dressed, I then tripped on the roller track, went into the air and landed on my back. As I landed, I knew there was something immediately wrong with me. After I got dressed, I then got my body armor on. As I threw the Osprey over my head, I then collapsed to the floor. That's the last thing I remember. I loved every single day of being in the Royal Marines. And at the moment, it was took away from me without a choice. Jason Burns, medically discharged from the Royal Marines, that's like, that's never gonna happen. I'm, I'm invincible. I wanted to be away from Plymouth now. The memories were, were not good now. It was a harsh environment to me almost, Plymouth. The welfare team helped me out. Uh, they started to organise a move for me from Plymouth up to Newcastle in the northeast. With PTSD, it's it's always admitting it yourself and being able to talk about it. Uh, thinking on as well, this was cumulative. Uh, over 26 years, which at the time, whilst in the Marines, you're always running 100 miles an hour, your brain. So everything you see, which is devastating through your career, and all the friends you lose, it's just crack on. It's sad. Put it back in your head. You need to continue. It then come to a point in 2014 when we, we, needed, we needed more help and more care. We needed to move out of the accommodation we were in, so we then moved. When we got the property we were going to move into, it was in a mess and there was a lot of work needed to be done on it. That's when the Royal Marines charity changed our lives. Five years on from my injury, I'm now fully in the wheelchair I'm in, which was bought by the Royal Marines charity for me. The house we're moving into, they then said, right, we're going to decorate and do the whole of the interior of the house. Choose anything you want, any floors you want, any carpet, paint, colours, everything. But they did the garden for us as well. I remember as soon as it was finished, just in my wheelchair, going out of the kitchen onto this decking with the kids and the smiles on their faces made me smile. That's given me some quality of life that I can now get out with my daughter on her bicycle. We were just astounded by the generosity of the Royal Marines charity and for the people who support the Royal Marines charity and give money, thank you so much for that.